Hello there, I'm Laura Kyle. The top stories here on Al Jazeera. In Zimbabwe, a referendum on a new constitution is underway. If there's a yes vote, the power of the president would be curtailed and the post of prime minister scrapped. Al Jazeera's Harry Matassa has been to vote in the capital, Harare. After the referendum, the president will announce an election date, expected sometime later this year. And that's where some people here are concerned. They fear that the run-up to the election could be a violent one and the campaigning as well. They know that President Mugabe's on the PF party says they're not willing to share power this time with Tangarai's MDC party and there is concern that they could see the same violence they saw back in 2008 when the election back then was contested. After threats of nuclear war from North Korea, the United States is beefing up its missile defense systems. The Pentagon is to spend a billion dollars on more interceptors along the U.S. West Coast and a tracking system in Japan. United Nations investigators say U.S. drone attacks in Pakistan violate its sovereignty. After a three-day visit to Pakistan, the U.N. team also found that the controversial strikes have caused far more civilian casualties than the U.S. government reports. The U.S. says drone strikes are targeting terrorists in Pakistan's tribal areas. You can find the latest on all those stories and much more at aljazeera.com.